So if you're just getting into photography and you're not sure about what lens to use and when, then this AD Quick Bite is going to be for you. So I'm just going to talk about what I personally use for different situations while I'm out on the bank. So the first lens I'm going to talk about is a good all-round lens and that is a 24 to 70. This is really good because it gets a little bit of wide and a little bit of zoom. So I'd use this probably on a boat where I don't want to take too many lenses. And my favourite thing about this lens is that it has a macro function. Um, so I can get really cool pictures of bobbins, tackle, really cool artistic close-ups. So the next two lenses I'm going to talk about are very specific for different things. So the first one is the 16 to 35. This is ultra, ultra wide, so it's perfect for landscape photography. It's also good for vlogging if you want to film yourself when you're out and about fishing. Um, and a top tip I would give is to put a circular polarised filter on there that will just take off the glare off the water. So the other lens I'm going to talk about that's completely different to the 16 is the 70 to 200. This is really good for wildlife that's quite close in, such as robins or maybe a kingfisher that might get on your rod tip. I'd also use it for portrait photography because the depth of field is really good. The next lens I'm going to talk about is my absolute favourite lens, hence why it's on the camera at the minute, and that is the fixed 50. So I think this is actually designed for portrait photography. Um, so this is perfect for those fishing cat shots. Um, it's also got really low depth of field, so you get those nice blurry artistic backgrounds and it's really compact, so if you're just going for a day session and you just want to take something small, perfect for that too. So the lens I'm going to finish on is a lens that I know a lot of people might not use, but I'm going to talk about it because I use it myself, and that is the 150 to 600 lens, perfect for wildlife photography, to get those greaves in the middle of the lake for example, so it goes ultra, ultra close. And one thing I did get last year, which I was really proud of, was a carp eaten off the surface. So it's also really good for shots like that. And one thing to mention as well is you do need to use it with a monopod or a tripod to reduce that camera shake. So there we go. That was just a quick rundown of what lenses I would use for different fishing situations. And I hope this has helped anyone who's looking to get into photography or if you're looking to buy a certain lens. So if there's anything else that you'd want to see me talk about, let us know in the comments and until then, catch you later.